Okay, Percy. That's the last delivery for tonight. I can't believe we had to travel clear to Vickerstown to deliver the post. Percy? Ah. What are you on about? I heard noises at that old abandoned Vickerstown works. Oh, it was scary. And late on Halloween night, too. The only thing scary is how much post we had to deliver tonight. I feel like we've been pulling this lot for ages. We're so busy. Well, it is a holiday. Percy, it's Halloween, not Christmas. It's not like there's any gift giving or anything. I just don't understand how we got so much post. It's incredible. Well, we haven't really done much in like a year. Oh no, it's nearly midnight. Oh, come off it, Percy. Just because it's Halloween don't mean there's nothing to be scared of. That's all silly make-believe rubbish. There is one thing, though. We missed Edward's Halloween story. <gasps> Cinders and ashes. I completely forgot. That's the best part of Halloween. Well, maybe, maybe he's still telling it, you know. But perhaps it's a long story. We could go back to Titmouth and... Hello. Edward. What are you doing all the way on this side of the island? Oh, <laughs> I was just out for a stroll. <laughs> it was quite a lovely night. But... But what about your story? Ah, yes. A wonderful story. I finished it a couple of hours ago, I'm afraid. You two look anxious. A penny for your thoughts. Well... Is it Halloween jitters? Worse! Worse? Yes, Edward. We had to miss your Halloween story because we had to work late with the post. We would have been there otherwise. We wouldn't have missed it for anything. But uh, there was a lot of mail tonight and we got held up. Ah, I, I see. Well, I could stay up a little longer and tell it to you. Really? You sure it won't be a bother? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Think of it like a bedtime story. Wow! Thanks, Edward. But you may not want to go to sleep after I tell you the story of the terrible old engine. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> it was in the design of three engines. Harry, Bert, and Diesel to call upon the terrible old engine. Well, mostly Diesel's design. So, let's review. We need to beat with Diesel 10 to come up with a new strategy. And the meeting place you chose is the abandoned Vickers Town Works. What's wrong with that? Shady characters usually meet in creepy, derelict places. Oh, I, I don't have a problem with it. It's just that, uh, uh well... <laughs> Bert? Is there something wrong? Uh, um, no nothing, boss. Bert? <coughs> oh, alright, alright. That place is just so scary. C could we meet at the smelter's yard instead? Uh, I told you, the old Vickerstown works is closer to the mainland than the smelter's yard, so Diesel Tin can easily slip back to the mainland if he needs to. And why are you so scared of the smelter's yard in the same way? It's way scarier there than the old works. Engines go to the scrapyard to permanently retire. There's scrapped engines just lying about. Yeah, but but there I'm the scary thing. Didn't you hear Edward's story of terrible old engine that lives in the works? No. Uh, Edward made that story up, like all of his other Halloween stories. Now quit your sniffling and get going. Uh, uh, if you foul this up for me, rest assured. Your position at the scrapyard will be demoted to scrap engine. Comprende? Uh, uh huh. Good. 
Now get out of here, both of you. We don't wish to keep him waiting. And remember the plan. Among the gnarled tracks in the front yard of this aged and neglected place was plenty of scrap so to frighten away small engines from wandering inside. Those brave enough to approach the house will see nothing through the boarded up dusty windows, and those curious enough to peek inside are never seen again. Mm -hmm. Desire to avoid needless explanations in case of unexpected police intrusions prompted these plans for a quiet and unostentatious departure. Um, ostrich stations? What's that? <laughs> uh, 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 unostentatious, Percy. <laughs> it means not attracting attention to yourself. Oh, I, I do continue. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. As prearranged, the three adventurers started out separately in order to prevent any huh? evil minded suspicions afterward. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> Harry and Bert met by the old engine shed, by the old works front gate, and although they did not like the way the moon shone down upon the painted stones, through the gnarled scrap and crisscrossing tracks in and around the facility. They had more important things to think about than mere idle superstition. At least, that's what Harry kept telling Bert. It's just... it's just so scary, Harry! Ah, uh, whatever. Come on, we gotta go in, check this place out, and then give Diesel the old clear signal. Hang on, hang on! What's that sign on the shed? What, 71? It's the number between 70 and 72, okay? Stupid! I'm not stupid, you're stupid. I meant this sign, not that one. Oh, there. That's an abandoned building inspection placard. The fire brigade puts them up. The one slash warns them that there are hazards inside. <laughs> Hazards inside? Alright, let's go in. What? Are you blooming insane? I'm not going in that shed. What, why not? I told you it's not scary. What, what about the hazards? <sighs> Look, Bert, the only hazard you need to worry about is Diesel when he finds out that you're not being helpful in doing his scheme. Besides, it could be worse. The sign could be an X instead of a single slosh. What, what, what does that mean? It's condemned. Too dangerous to enter. Now come on, we've got work to do. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Diesel arrived and was waiting anxious outside the sheds. Waiting seemed very long to Diesel as he fidgeted relentlessly, watching intently for the signal he told his henchmen to give. Three flashes of their headlamps. I don't even see any lights, let alone three flashes. What is taking them so long? Uh, what, uh, what, what was that? Oh no. The terrible old engine's come to get me. No, no, please, I beg of you, let me go. Oh well, I don't mean to keep you, Diesel. But, but, ballast spreader. That's the ballast spreader to you. I worked hard for that title, you know. What on earth are you doing? doing here? I always come here. I scavenge for parts I can use at the Groven's Gate Works. After all, this was a works facility too at one point. Oh, grease and oil. Will you get out of here? I have an important meeting that you're not welcome to. Alright, alright. There's no need to be rude. I'm going. Sheesh. Now then. 
business. I suppose I have to find them myself. If you want it done right, you have to do it yourself. That's what I end up doing. things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Vickers Town people talked all that spring and summer about the three unmarked trucks filled with scrap metal strips, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses, and horribly mangled as by the sharp blades of many cruel tin openers, which were sitting on a siding. Some people even spoke of things as trivial as the door of the abandoned Vickerstown works being ajar, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old engine took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved. And when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient an engine must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. And that's my story. Wow, Edward, that was great. D didn't you think so, Percy? <laughs> that was a great story. Um, is any of your story true? Oh, well, um, some of it is. Ah, the ghost engine! The terrible old engine's after me! <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that's what, priceless. What was that about? They found my prop. Prop? You morons! It's just a heaping pile of scrap shaped like a monster. The yellow eyes are just amber lamps. Where's Bert? Oh, never mind. He's probably miles away. I'll have to yell at him later. Come on, we have to find Diesel 10. I overheard their plans for a meeting, so I quickly fashioned the prop and put it in the shed to scare them. And then I prepared a story on their expense and for my amusement. I used different names when I told the story earlier to conceal my trick. So, there isn't really a terrible old engine? Ha <laughs> uh, no, Percy. The only terrible old engine here is me, judging by my actions tonight. <laughs> I wonder what they're up to right now. Hmm. He must be around here somewhere. Surely 
He'd hear the screams. What's that over there? What's what? Oh! It's a note. Diesel had to go back to mainland. Got to search for a mystery train. We'll return here at some point. Diesel 10! Uh, so, what, what do we do now? Well, first, we have to find Bert. Then we do what we always do. Go back to the smelter's yard and wait for the next opportunity. And someday, one day, Steamies, it'll be our turn. We just need Diesel 10 first. Mark my words. Thank <laughs> you.